my dogs and cats living together at the Terrier. What's up, you sick son of a bitches? And welcome back to the Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today I have a brutal as all hell flick lined up for us. It is Nico Masterakis's 1976 cult classic video, Nasty. Guys, it is Island of Death. And this one is disturbing, um, unsettling, grotesque, repulsive. It is nasty in the best way to describe it. Um, but for some reason it catches me, um, I get caught up on it and I wanted to share it with you to see what you guys thought. But let's jump right into the ridiculous, crappy, weird stuff that's unsettling, it's gonna make your skin crawl. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Guys, here is Island of Death. Island of Death is an excruciatingly demented and extremely off-putting video nasty, directed by Nico Masterakis, and filled to the brim with mind-boggling moments that will get under your skin and stay with you long after viewing. Highly offensive and morally bankrupt, this grotesque and mean-spirited production astounds in its lunacy and repugnant nature, making for a cinematic experience that is without a doubt a double-edged sword. From its violence-obsessed beginning to its bizarre and heartless end, Island of Death is a cult classic freak show of unabashed absurdity that has to be seen to be believed. The film follows a bloodthirsty, maniacal, perverted British couple named Christopher and Celia, who travel to the quiet Greek island of Mykonos in order to take a break away from their murderous rampaging at home. But unfortunately for the locals of the island, they can't break old habits, plunging the sleepy coastal village into an orgy of violence and debauchery, all by the hands of these sadistic and psychotic lovers. Can these maniacs be stopped, or are the entire population of the island doomed to death and fates far, far worse? Robert Beeling and Jane Lyle take on the vile central roles of Christopher and Celia, the diabolical bastards that set all this death and mayhem into motion. Totally batshit crazy and all in when it comes to perverted pandemonium. Both actors do a remarkable job in balancing their characters out as strangely sympathetic and uncontrollably repulsive, making for an interesting dichotomy that honestly gives the film its controversial edge and potent cinematic venom. Repulsive with a touch of melancholy, Beeling and Lyle excel in their devilish partnership and they truly are the linchpin that holds all of this abhorrent content together. Getting in on the brutal fun is a collection of weirdos and wackos who also aid in on bringing the pain and filling out this disturbing film of sex, sadism, and insanity. The heavy hitters are Gerard Gonalins as Foster, a private investigator who is hot on the heels of Christopher and Celia and their murderous rampage. Jessica Dublin as Patricia, a horny over-the-hill harlot who gets mixed up in the couple's sick and twisted games. Nico Masterakis as the novelist, a strange writer who becomes obsessed with Christopher and Celia's puzzling ways. Janice McConnell as Leslie, a flirtatious lesbian bartender who is manipulated into cruelty beyond words. And finally, Nico Sartoridis as Shepard, a mentally disturbed man who matches the serial killing maniacs in madness and manslaughter. Excessive and altogether psychotic, the cast does a commendable job in keeping pace with the lunacy on screen, and they all do their part in bringing this disturbing world to life with as much repulsion and decadence as one could possibly muster. Depravity is the name of the game with Island of Death. It's unmistakably vile in its perversion and unparalleled in its cruelty and malice that it could fare to be too much for some viewers to handle. It's extreme in its attempt to tackle every social taboo there is under the sun, and it almost gleefully aims to disturb the viewer in every frame of this wild soulless flick. In true video nasty form, the production basks in its lunatic persona and relishes in every depraved thing that it can throw at its audience. 
its narrative structure is unpredictable and tremendously bipolar, as sequences occur at almost random intervals, with always the same result in flying totally and totally off the rails. Abrasive and raw in every way, shape, and form, it's a cinematic experience that is to be feared as much as it should be celebrated. They honestly don't make films like this anymore. In the end, Island of Death is a disgusting deluge of deranged debauchery, and it's a masterpiece of perverted pandemonium that simply repulses and honestly entertains. What's up you perverted weirdos? And that is the ultimate video nasty flick. Guys, that is Island of Death. Just really disturbing, unsettling, um, off-putting, perverted. It just, it runs the gamut of video nasty qualities. And for some reason, when I first watched it last year, um, I was hooked from the first frame and just, I made it all the way through and couldn't look away. It's just really one of those train wrecks of a film, but it's actually well put together, just extremely off-putting with its content. But uh, hopefully that was intriguing for you guys. <laughs> so yeah, I had to show it to you to see what you thought. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you liked that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, well, please like and subscribe. And if you've got some time in your hands, please leave a comment below because I would love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you all at the next movie review. Take care. God, they're sick.